Apologies for the cheesy title, but we couldn't think of any better way to describe what we're going through right now. Also, did you know there's a Six Flags in Mexico? So buckle up, put your hands in the air, and get ready to scream with us because we've got some major news for you today. Ah! Not yet, Kevin. I know, but I'm so upset about what happened. Me too. The big update. And this is tough to share because once I tell you all that makes it real. We wanted to cheer ourselves up a little bit and have some fun. So now that we've done that, welcome to Six Flags Mexico. How many of you knew that there was a Six Flags here? I didn't. <laughs> Six Flags Mexico is located in the Tlalpan forest of the southern edge of Mexico City. It's the largest and most visited theme park in Latin America with 2.8 million annual visitors. This Six Flags actually has a Hurricane Harbor, but it's not located around here. It's actually located an hour away from here in the state of Morelos. So we're here actually for the second time. We came for the first time a couple months ago with my sister. And this time around, it's much more Christmassy. It's a little bit rainy today, but I think it's a good thing because there's not many people here today. So the line should be super short. To me, it's hilarious because I feel like we've been celebrating Christmas for two months now. <laughs> it started off like the first week with my Christmas party. Then I went to a Christmas party in Chicago and then lived Christmas in Puerto Escondido. And now we're in January celebrating Christmas again. So we've got the map, just like most Six Flags parks here. We've got a schedule of shows. Look, check it out. There's going to be post here. <laughs> All over again. <laughs> I've never been to Six Flags in winter because in Chicago it's probably full of snow. So this is a first experience for me. The la when was the last time we went to Six Flags Great America? I think it was 10 years ago because... We took my ne my nephews and my s little sister. Yeah, right? probably. Yeah, when they were way smaller than us. Can you us. believe they're way taller than us now? <laughs> That's crazy. We had just started dating back then, so that was a nice move on your part to suggest no. <laughs> we take my kids. Right away, right off the bat, the entrance to Six Flags feels like a Pueblo Magico. Yeah. It's really cool, colonial, beautiful colors, art, yeah. rides right away. It's, it's a cool experience already. And penguins with the Noche Buenas. Look at how adorable. What are these called in English again? Poin uh, poinsettias? Poinsettias. Originally from Mexico, y'all. Yeah. Other Mexican characteristics is this garden here with the aqueduct arches, just like we've seen in Querétaro, Morelia, Zacatecas, and many other parts of Mexico. Gorgeous, isn't it? Zero minutes for Superman, let's go. I got too excited. It's, it's closed. But last time we got on it, so I'm happy we got on it last time. Cool, did you see the s'more station? What? They're selling s'mores packs for 100 pesos and so they give you everything you need and you just do it right there over the fire. Oh. Funnel cakes and churros because it's Mexico and you gotta have churros. One of my favorite things to have at Six Flags Great America here in Chicago is funnel cakes. At the end of the day after standing and walking and it's cold. Are churros then technically the Mexican version of funnel cakes? Or are funnel cakes the American version of churros? So it looks like the Pueblo Frances, so the French area is where the main stage for shows is. The Christmas tree is here. When we came last, they were barely starting to set up for Christmas. Yeah. So it's cool to actually see it all in action. I'm excited for the Christmas shows. Mexico being Mexico always has to have some sort of horror to it. I don't know why, but Mexico... Horror? Horror. But so that Mexico's obsessed with horror and they're showing some sort of ghost huh? face from Scream. There's a ghost something yeah. happening? Yeah. Where? Right there. What? Chicos, van a pasar a la fábrica de miedo y está abierta y es de Gracias. Jesus, it spooked me. What is happening here? I don't know. It's just Mexico City being Mexico. Cafe Paris, where you can come get your croissant. Get some, uh, is that how you say it? Croissant? <laughs> I see that we're getting close to the Joker ride and we're still in the French zone. We might skip the Joker ride this time around because last time we got on it, but... But I came prepared! Look at what I'm wearing! <laughs> I actually really enjoyed the Joker ride. It reminds me there's um, one in the Great America that's similar to it. Yeah, it is a really cool ride. More than anything, I think waiting in line was cool because as soon as you go into the Joker's mouth, you go through this fun house and it was, it was Oh, awesome. the fun house was cool. What? Is that Dr. Simi? No, it's your guy. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's my best friend. <laughs> the one who I visit every month. No, for real though, what is Dr. Simi doing at Six Flags? Okay, this is new. Whoa. Pueblo Polynesio, Polynesian section at Six Flags. That's new. Look! 
Babe, Dr. Simi has a ride. Dr. Simi has a ride? They, they shouldn't have called this the Polynesian area. They should have just been the Dr. Simi area. Okay, I think, I think we have to do it. Can we please, please get on the Dr. Simi ride? Oh, Let's oh. go. I'm actually super excited for this ride, but I don't know if I should be embarrassed that there's mostly small children in this line. Dr. Simi, I technically should not be getting on any like very vigorous roller coasters because of my musculoskeletal condition. I mean, it depends on the day, it really depends on how I'm feeling. I'm feeling pretty good today. I have very minimal, like almost no muscle pain today. Um, so it's just the, the nerves that when I get nervous or anxious about a ride, then that makes my muscles contract and then that can generate pain later. So I might, I might just stick to the baby rides today. Ooh. Hey, there's a wing spot over here. I'm getting kind of hungry. 200 pesos for six wings or 290 pesos for 12 wings. What do you guys think of these prices? These salsas negras are really good. Look, michelada kind of. Flavoring, right? There's a hype for salsas negras in Mexico and it's usually what Worcester sauce. The salsa inglesa. How do you say that in is that the same thing? Yeah. Yeah. Salsa Maggi. So, um, this is like a powdered version and it's actually really good. They look weird, but, but they're good. I know it's Christmas in the park, but it looks more like fall. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, but there's more palm trees around here. We actually changed locations. We're in Hollywood. Oh, that explains the stars on the sidewalk. How about y'all? Do you have uh, Six Flags where you're from? Like, I know California has one, Texas has one. A lot of them actually have been uh, removed, so. Are there any outside of the U.S. and Mexico? I actually don't know. Hmm. What? It's so cool. They have an Aquaman right here. I don't think I would ride it with this cold though. Ash down. Yeah, I don't not want to get wet in this weather. Wait, it's raining. <laughs> Yo, can you believe people are actually on this ride? I'm gonna step over here because they're, they're about to come splashing down. I mean, I know you want to avoid the really aggressive rides, but I, I think you think I can do the swings? I, I could do swings. I could probably do the indoor ride. Oh, that's cool. The swings ride is super girl ride. You know what's really cool? The whole, like this whole section is DC related. So they have the Wonder Woman ride. Oh. They have Batman. They have Supergirl. They have Aquaman. They have the Joker. Got it. Wow, it looks so, such a chill ride from down there, but it's really high. <laughs> oh my gosh, this view is crazy. Woo! Oh. We're back. Down. I am really dizzy after that one, but that view was so gorgeous and worth it. And I'm not talking about that one, I'm talking about the view of the park. <laughs> Batman! Oh, you mean the Batmobile! That's cool, and Six Flags Great America and Gurney, they also have this one. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Batman has been my favorite character since I was a kid. Uh, I have a funny story. So when the Batman first came out at Six Flags in Gurney, it was like the biggest thing. I remember waiting in line for three, almost three and a half hours to get on the ride. And then when I'm about to sit, they check my height and then it let me on. <laughs> Aww, I'll never forget. <laughs> the next the next year my mom bought me some shoes with like higher heels. And again, they didn't let me on the ride. I don't even remember when I got on it, but this Batman ride brings up so many memories. As y'all know, I'm a big Chicago sports fan. I gotta make sure I represent my city well. Shoot some hoops. No pressure, but I really like that Wonder Woman, and I think you need to make three baskets in order to get it. So... It's five for the Wonder Woman, but... The little Batman's cute. All right. Sure better not be jinx me, I swear. As long as you make one in, it'll be enough. Uh, one more shot. Just make one in and I'll be proud of you. 
Get the shirt. Ooh, you want to get on that one, babe? I think I'm good. Sure? Yeah. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Don't be fooled. This isn't real snow, but Six Flags sure knows how to create a cool Christmas atmosphere. I'm pretty sure this was just soap bubbles, so I figured I might as well do what we're always telling you all to do. I feel like it's been a while since we've seen shows like this. Uh, well, we haven't been to Great America or Six Flags in a while, right? But... That is a first, so hopefully not a last time that we dance El Caballo de Allen Six Flags. Well, payaso de rodeo, however you know him. That was awesome. All right, so time for the tough part of this video, the big update. And this is tough to share because once I tell you all, that makes it real or more real. And it's also kind of weird to be in this like joyful environment with this like joyful music going on. But that's also kind of the reason that we came. We wanted to cheer ourselves up a little bit and have some fun. So now that we've done that, it's time for me to tell you what's going on. First, I want to say that when we moved to Mexico three years ago, we knew that there would be many unknowns. We didn't know how we would make a living in the long run. In the short term, I was working my job remotely because of the pandemic. But after that first year, they asked me to either return to Chicago or resign. And being that we we're already committed to living in Mexico, I quit that job. So there were a few months when the two of us were both unemployed and then eventually Kevin got the job that he has now. And so then for the next year and a half or so, I focused on my health and the YouTube channel. That is until this really, really cool opportunity to work in international higher education, which is my professional background, came up based in Mexico City. And for those of you following along in our videos, you know that I was offered that job. So throughout the journey in Mexico, we never really planned on living in Mexico City, but this job opportunity was just too cool to pass up. And so we changed all those plans of maybe living in Querétaro, maybe living in Puerto Escondido, to then, all right, we're gonna live in Mexico City. We signed a lease, started buying furniture, and I started this awesome job. With the US University, with an office at UNAM, working to promote educational exchanges and the greater good of both countries. A dream of mine since I started my career in higher education. But life takes some unexpected turns sometimes. Just like a roller coaster, sometimes you don't really know what's next. So after working this job for three months, I'm sad to say that things didn't work out. I can't share details as to why right now, but I can tell you that I'm pretty heartbroken about the way everything happened. It happened very suddenly and unexpectedly and, and I'm still processing it emotionally, but I'm sad, I'm angry, I feel betrayed. But I know, I know things are gonna be okay. It's just a tough time because the day that we found out, we panicked, we canceled our couch delivery, we thought about breaking our lease and moving somewhere more affordable. I just feel like a rug was pulled out underneath my feet and I don't really know what to do next when this was what I had planned for my life right now. So now what? We moved to the city specifically for this job where we signed a lease for this pricey apartment in a city that I don't know if we can afford to achieve our goals. I think I know we'll be okay. I know that if I look for another job in this city, I, I could probably find one, but now I feel like maybe we're meant to do something else or go somewhere else. What do you guys think we should do?